it going guys it's brooks at clearwater crappy yes i still make videos between the rain that we had and my job i haven't had time to do as much filming as i like i actually tried to make a long line video last weekend at clark's hill drove an hour and 15 minutes got down to the water me and my buddy aj put the boat in boat wouldn't crank so we had to run off a 12 volt battery for cranking battery and troll motor and it just was not gonna work for long lining uh, but today as you can see i'm standing in front of a bunch of canes i'm gonna make some spawning crappy condos there's hundreds of videos on youtube how to make crappy condos built this way but i haven't seen too many where you build them horizontally for crappy that spawn in that shallow water today's the first day of spring so what better way to kick it off than to get ready for the crappy on the spawn my least favorite time of the year to fish just because everybody and their grandma gets out there and crappy fishes during springtime but I'm still gonna do it. So let's cut a couple of these down, let's get on the water, let's make a crappy condo. Alright guys, got the canes cut. Two things you want to do. Take the rod holders off the front of your boat if you got any, because canes and rod holders they don't mix too good. Another thing is, cut them short when you do this. You don't need 12 foot canes when making a spawning crappy brush, and I'll show you why once we get on the water and show you how I build them. But got about probably six to eight canes cut. Got two center blocks, two cement blocks in the boat. Uh, you don't need any extra concrete or anything like that. We're just gonna stick them in, drop them, mark them on GPS. We'll be good to go to fish them in a couple weeks. All right, guys, this is what it look like all rigged up. We got the canes, two bungees wrapped around them make them a little bit more manageable in the boat got them wrapped up got the center blocks over there got two of them and that's about all you need to make these let's go get on the water all right guys finally made it to the lake um got my canes in the boat got my center blocks ready right here uh typically you can do this with one center block like you see on the bottom right here but i attached another one because i got some really really bushy canes so i don't want it to float uh, but what we're going to talk about first is how do I determine where I put a spawning crappy condo. Um, you know, typically when I make a vertical structure, it's going to be near a creek channel, near a ledge, uh, near a boat dock that maybe holds fish. Uh, but when I, pick, when I pick a spawning area, it's either A, I've caught them spawning there before, or B, it's going to be a really gradual flat flattening area. It means not a big drop off onto a shelf. Uh, what you see behind me right here, let's see if I can turn the camera, let you look. What you see behind me here is a lot of grass and a little feeder creek coming in. Uh, they will spawn in that grass right there. Um, I'm in about six foot of water. I can actually see grass below me right here. Uh, so this is going to be a good area to drop one because they're obviously going to spawn here. But I'm putting something to where I know is there. I can cast to it and I don't have to cast around to find them. Um, but I'm going to stick these through each of these holes and we'll alternate which way they go through. Some this way, some that way. That way they don't float out. So I'm gonna rig it up and then I'll show you throw it in and in. All right guys, I just shoved all my canes and the cement blocks right here. And the way I do it is I'll stick some going that way with the stalks facing that way from the bottom side. Stick some that way and then some going that way. And the actual limbs themselves will anchor it in. And what I mean by that is it's kind of like a uh, fish hook. You know, it'll go in easy, but it won't come out as easy. Um, it goes in and the branches and stuff will hold it in. So when it tries to float up, they'll just sit there right there in that center block. And I have one piece of string that I tied to the center block, like this right here. And what I'm gonna do with it is I'm just gonna lasso it all around in case one wants to wiggle loose when I drop it. It'll just stay stationary right there with them blocks. I'm gonna drop this one in about six, seven foot of water. Uh, some of the branches will float up and that's okay. I mean, you fish visible structure when the crappy spawn, but this is a core and engineer lake on Lake Hartwell and the water is going to fluctuate. So I'm going to put it a little bit deeper because I think the water is going to come down a little bit. And uh, like I said, I necessarily don't have to drop it, make a GPS point because like I said, I have a general idea of where I can just cast straight to it and see if those fish are there. So I'm going to lasso this up and I'm going to kick it off in the water. All right, guys, this is the final finished product right here. You can kind of see how I got them shoved inside real stacked in like. Just a little simple brush pile. You can do it the same day you cut them. Real brushy. Crappy is going to get all over this. And I'm just going to kick it off in the water right here in front of this little grass patch area. All right, there's no rhyme or reason on how 
you put it in the water just throw it in and if you've ever seen the movie field of dreams if you build it they will come you'll know what i'm talking about there we go guys and she's just sinking like that Ooh. all right sorry for the crazy camera work just wanted to see y'all guys sink it right there and that's it guys got it in the water i'm gonna go back over it and you'll actually be able to see some of it but like i said that's okay you just want to pitch around it and that way you know it's there them crappy can get right around it there we go that big shadow right there that little white spot that's our crappy condo that shadow right there is where the side of hitting it you can kind of see that's the center block area the center right there and it's real white that real bright white spot that's gonna be a good one right against that little bitty feeder creek right there hopefully we catch something in about a week on it all right guys that is the spawning crappy condo video just something really really simple for y'all guys to look at maybe if y'all haven't thought of to do before but um i know a lot of people do their crappy condos you know in the cement blocks or the five gallon buckets and stick cement in there and let it dry overnight this is something you can do the same day you cut the canes uh, just like I had my boat hooked up, pulled it beside the canes, cut them, throw them in the boat, took off to the lake. It's super simple, super easy to do. Uh, when you start seeing all everybody out there with their floats, hitting the blowdowns, hitting the banks, hitting the grass, that'll be the same time they get on your crappy condo in that shallow water. Um, I appreciate y'all liking the videos, subscribing, watching. Uh, we are going to do a long line video. I know several of you have asked for it. It just did not work out last time we tried to film. Uh, it'll probably be a couple weekends from now. We'll line it back up when me and AJ are both off the same weekend. Um, but stay tuned. Look for it. it should be a pretty good one. Um, if you want to see more, like, subscribe. Uh, you want to hear from me, email me, clearwatercrappy at gmail.com. I'll try to reply to everybody. Um, but that is it, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Go find me something to eat. Thanks for watching, guys.